Hello and welcome to Bullion RV. My name is Tristan here giving you my best Marky Mark impression and today right behind me here we have a brand new 2022 Grand Design Transcend 247BH as in bunkhouse. Now note this unit has no slides, comes in at 30 feet and is 5,000, I'll just say 400, 5,400 pounds dry. So most half tons should be able to pull this, maybe a few larger SUVs, otherwise three quarter tons and one tons, easily. So, I'm gonna take you guys around the outside, show you the inside and see what you have to say. This unit sits on four stabilizer jacks on each corner, and as you'll notice, they're kinda wonky, coming in at an angle. Think of standing with your feet straight, I don't know if you can even see my feet, versus your feet at an angle. A little bit more stability when all four jacks are down. Otherwise, up front here, we got a nice big rock guard, two 20-pound propane tanks, power jack tongue, and then upon purchase, we don't give you one of these batteries, but we do put a deep cycle battery right there for you. Otherwise, on the driver's side here, we have your battery disconnect, your fresh versus city water fill, satellite cable, power, and then also a 25-amp solar charge controller for your 165-watt panel on the roof. So if you want to add more, you can definitely do that. There's some plugins up there for some plug and play. Otherwise, you can just leave it at that. Here's your pass-through storage. Pretty big, pretty vast. Otherwise, you're going to walk down this side. You've got a gray tank right here. That's going to be from your kitchen. Otherwise, you sit on two nitrogen-filled tires, tandem axle, so it's going to pull down the highway very nicely. you got a ladder to get up to your rooftop. And then here's gonna be your bathroom's gonna be actually back in this corner of the unit. So you got a gray and black tank back here as well. Otherwise, here is your 30 amp service, your bumper to hold your sewer hose, full size spare tire, prep for a backup camera, a couple windows for the bunks back there. And then back to the passenger side. Look at this, I actually got the awning all the way out. Look how much shade you get. Not too shabby on a day like this here's your hot water gas electric heater gas electric hot water heater here's your city tank fill your city tank refresh water fill portable water if you want to watch tv out here you definitely can otherwise you got just a little led light less bugs are going to be at this campsite and your speakers for entertainment they're going to be right there we're going to take two steps three steps up four one two three four and grab a nice big grab handle and we're in the unit first thing you'll notice you got a kind of a mudroom right here i like to say put your keys your shoes anything you don't want to have in your pockets maybe your jacket throw it right there otherwise your kitchen's going to be right in front of us again it's grand design so they're going to try to keep everything as consistent as possible in terms of nice appliances you got a furion i believe that's an eight cubic foot fridge freezer you got the oven three burner gas stove top and the microwave as well as for controlling everything, you're going to be looking right here. Your tanks, battery, lights, water pump, gas, electric, water, hotter, what? Well, I can't say that one today. Hot water heater, and also your awning, and then your furnace is going to be down here. Nice big sink, plenty of countertop space for cooking when you're in here, and a spot to put your appliances that you want to plug in. Otherwise, there's plenty of storage below, as there is above, and they give you a little fan right here in case you're burning whatever's cooking in the kitchen as for seating you got a nice dinette right here with storage below you can bump this down into a bed these pads are reversible in case you don't want the kids to stay in the nice colored ones then you have a tv up here entertainment system behind this door and storage behind the other the nice view of the campsite or maybe your campsite's over here. Then you can sit the dinette and look out this window. Right here we do have a jackknife sofa with storage below. Oh, I thought that was going to come out a little bit. Sorry for the camera angle. Plenty of storage below. You can put the kid stuff down there. Otherwise, again, this is a jackknife sofa for when you have plenty more guests than you anticipated. Got storage above as well. Some nice shades up top if I can grab them. Blackout. No one's seen in here. As for the bunkhouse, you're looking at it right here. We have two double bunks, fairly large, fit nice adults up there. You got the windows I was talking about, privacy curtains in case you're trying to sleep in. 
and then you also have storage beneath so again you wonder where you put all your guest stuff you can throw it right under where they're sleeping and they have charging outlets for the devices too they just can't get off of them otherwise your bathroom is going to be fairly large again you got plenty of linen storage over here those go all the way back so when it comes to towels and blankets and whatnot put them right there you got a porcelain foot flush toilet right here and a fairly large shower to boot with some natural lighting or some extra added headspace if need be if you're a taller individual otherwise you got nice little drunken octopus hooks to hold uh, your towels up you got a little sink to wash your hands off and a medicine cabinet to hold your neat I even missed the light my apologies Otherwise, when there is no light in here, again, you got another nice natural sunlight coming through this lighting fixture as well. As for where mom and dad are going to sleep, or the owners of the trailer, or whoever deserves it, here is your master bedroom. You get a queen size bed. You can fully walk around. You have outlets on either side, along with some added storage. All right, here, hang up your nice Hawaiian shirts. Again, if you want cross-flow ventilation, you can crack either of these windows. If not, open the one up on the roof. Otherwise, you do have a TV backer in here. Like everywhere else, your AC is going to be ducted to the ceiling and your heat through the floor ducts that are hidden throughout the unit. And speaking of hidden storage or features, you have a little bit more storage down here as well. And again, I've said this before, but these are one of the nicer bedspreads I've ever seen in a travel trailer, motorhome, RV, what, what have you. Pretty sharp. Give you one last view. Again, my name is Tristan here at Bullion RV up in Duluth, Minnesota. And behind me here is a 2022 Grand Design Transcend 247BH. If you have any questions about this unit, please feel free to give me a call. And hopefully when you get out here, it's a day like today. Otherwise, see you guys in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.